3 coplanar forces F1 equals to this, F2 equals to this newtons, and F3 equals to this newtons, acts at a point or full stop. Determine the Roman 1 magnitude, Roman 2 direction of the resultant force. So we can, these are the planar forces acting at a given point O. We can try to sketch the forces and um, we have uh, sketch try to sketch the forces we have force 1 force 1 acts this this is F1 uh, 30 degrees and then we have 42 310 uh, this is F2 uh, F2 this is F2, this is 3, 10 degrees, and then we have F3, 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 this is 240, 240 degrees, uh, this is F, F3, and uh, this is a hundred f2 this is 15 and then this is uh, this is four okay so they want us to get the magnitude and direction of the three forces coplanar forces so um solution there is uh, a shorter way of doing this we shall have uh, Mm. description have description um, description we have f1 equals to 100 30 newtons and then f2 equals to 15 3 10 then f3 equals to 4 240 so those are the description then you can have x components x components and then you have y uh, components y it is y components so x components here when you resolve these forces in x y we want to resolve these forces in x direction and y direction or so that we have x components and y components so we have here it would be 100 cos 30 and then this will be 100 sine 30 this will be 15 cos 3 10 this will be 15 sine 3 10 this will be 4 cos 240 this will be 4 sine 240 now get the total of this now get the total of this right here so we can use the phone to calculate these forces so we have 100 100 cos cos 30 cos 30 plus
plus 100 equals that plus 15 15 cos 15 cos uh, 310 close the bracket plus plus 4 4 cos 240 close the bracket this equals to 94.244 the y component and 5 find y component to be a hundred sign sign 30 close the bracket plus 15 sign sign 310 close the bracket plus plus 4 sign 240 close the bracket equal to that 5.0405 now you can see that both of them are positive therefore we sketch the, these components so we can sketch the component so this one is x-axis which is uh, 94.24 newtons and then we can sketch y axis which is this one that 5.045 so the resultant the resultant of the two forces of course it be this one this will be the resultant so this is angle angle data so let's find angle data we can use uh, so so ka, so katoa so katoa so if you want to get this angle we shall have tan tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent Opposite is that 5.045 at chasing is 94.244. This equals to can use the phone. So we have uh, that 5.045 divided by. 94.244 for this equals to 0 0.37185 so for us now to get data data will be equal to the turn inverse of 0 0.37 185 so data equals to the we get the inverse turn inverse of 0 equals to zero which equals to 20.3977 uh -huh. after getting the angle you can get the resultant let us call it x apply uh, sine opposite of hypotenuse and say sine 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 now 
0.3977 equals to sign is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 35.045 over hypotenuse, which is x. Therefore, x equals to 35.045 over sine 20.3977, which equals to use the phone to calculate that at 5.045 divided by divide by sine sine 20.3977 was to 100.55 Therefore, um, the resultant and magnitude, magnitude, magnitude will be equal to 100.55, direction equals to 20.3977. We can now combine the two and write them as 100.55.20.3977 newtons. Thank you. Bye bye.